the recording. I've no idea if you're in the shot, but we'll we'll hope you are. Uh, I'm not really. I'm not the important one in this video. It doesn't matter. You are here. Yeah, that's where I am. Anyway, what's up, guys? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very very much for checking out the video. Today we're going camping. Yeah, we are. Woo! So in my last video, I showed you guys the route that we're going to take on our little two-day, 19-mile, roughly, hike and wild camp, uh, and we're on it. I am very, very happy to be joined by uh, an Irishman again. Hey. Uh, I don't know if he's ever actually introduced himself properly to you guys, so just say hello. Hello. My name is not actually Irish. It's Andy. Yeah, but he is Irish. That is true. Yeah. So we're, we're very inventive with our nicknames. <laughs> You're Irish! No, for your name is Irish. So yeah, so we'll take you along with us as we camp uh, along the route that I showed you uh, in my last video. Uh, any interesting sights and stuff we will tell you about and show you. Uh, it should be really good. The weather is looking amazing so far. Look at this. So happy. I'm already boiling. Yeah. It's warm. a bit warm. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, come along with us and I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. This is nice. Both hugely enjoying the very simple signage. Mm. Path! <laughs> that way. Done! Onwards! <laughs> there also one that says, River! <laughs> Water! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this walk is for the uh, under fives. <laughs> Keep it very, very simple. <laughs> well, let's see how we get on first. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We've already kind of gone the wrong way once, anyway. Got history in this way, in this oh! world. Gates messing with me as well. <laughs> oh, history here. Yeah. Good point. This is so pretty, though. So nice here. Oh, I love it. It's an Irish photographer. <laughs> A successful trip so far. Yeah. <laughs> We've been on the road for about 10 minutes. <laughs> We're already deeming this a success. All is well. Oh, I'm already breathing heavily. Oh yeah, we'll smash this out in four hours. <sighs> I'm currently up Heartland Tor, which looks really, really cool. Very much out of breath, heavy pack. Let's get at the top here and show the view. The 
a little windy. Don't even know if you can hear me. <laughs> My camera keeps telling me to format the uh, memory card, so but then keeps recording, so I'm a little bit worried. I'm hoping that all of this footage is being recorded. If it's my second trip to Dartmoor where I don't have any footage, I'm going to be annoyed. <laughs> it would be incredibly upsetting. <laughs> Whee! Well, that was my camera for a second. <laughs> Started to panic. I think we should actually probably be up there. Yeah. Never mind. Whoa, danger breaking. This feels a little boggy. Here we go up. It seems to be that whenever Irish and I come camping, or with Dave as well actually, wherever we go, it doesn't matter where we go, if there is moisture, if there is a bog, we will find it and we will walk into it. Yep. I think this is probably our least boggy trip ever. So and far. it is wonderful. So far. so far, that's true, yeah. He says walking into an enormous bog. Look, Look at that view. Look at that view down there. Damn. I'm fine with this. Glad you came? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's about one o'clock. Uh, I'm going to talk to you while the wind hopefully isn't overly overbearing. It's one o'clock, so we're just looking for a spot to stop and have a snack at some lunch because I am hungry. And uh, Irish has some very, very special oranges to share. <laughs> Where are they from? They're from London, then. I am just from London! Ah, yes! <laughs> Anybody that has no idea what that is, go and watch Tommy Tin, and he's very funny. Yeah, that's bloody lovely up there. Yeah. Well, that's a sneaky feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I bet about halfway up that I'll be cursing that hill. <laughs> <laughs> Why? This is a horrible hill! This is not lovely. Just done a little bit of fruit in that chocolate. Give you a bit of energy. In case you haven't had enough nuts. <laughs> Nom! <laughs> well, certainly not going to say no. That would be crazy. <laughs> when did you fall over? We've literally just finished having our little lunch snack and walked a bit further down and discovered this. <laughs> How nice would this have been to stop and have a spot of lunch? Oh well, never mind. So, we're carrying on. I think we're pretty sure the path ominously looks like it's about to go up a big hill. So, uh, so that's going to be exciting. Um, we are now sandwiched between two bits of river. I say river, kind of stream. A bit that goes there. And this bit here. Right here. And I'm fairly sure the route that we are taking involves crossing this river. But I do see 
bit of a lump over there, so let's go over that way. If I get back with them in a minute, I'm soaking wet, you know why. We're fine, we're fine. Having consulted the map and uh, figured it out, we realised we don't have to cross the river. We've come a little bit too far west, that's all. So we're carrying on on the official path. Right. And we're going to stay dry. Bonus. And I bet you can't hear a word I'm saying on account of it being really windy. Hey, look, cow. Well, after our bragging about not finding too much of a bog, we found a bog. Oh, we did it. We did it. Luckily, this time, nothing too extreme. We decided to fight our way out of it and uh, <laughs> made a sharp turn. Fight your way out of the bog. And now we're back on what seems like a normal path. Look at that. Not boggy. So we're just coming up to Fernworthy Forest all right there which is uh, the point of our little fun tour here where we take a dramatic detour up a whacking great hill yeah. yeah now i really hope the views from the top are dramatic and that it's still relatively clear when we get up there if they're not worth it the next part of this video will be just me and I'll be showing everybody where I left his body. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh, how cool is this? Also, I need to crest the hill. <laughs> Very, very cool. So this is one of the things when I did my gear load out planning video -y thing. This is one of the things I pointed out on the map that I was really interested in seeing. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't disappoint. It is very cool. Two huge stone circles. And not a bad view either. Not a bad view. So this here is Fernworthy Forest. So that's where we're going to be going through tomorrow. Our campsite is the other side of, uh, well not the other side, but on top of, if you like, further north and Fernworthy Forest. Uh, but I think we're going to go up Sidford Tor next, which is the one where Irish may murder me if it's not worth it. Uh, and then after Stay that... Tuned. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> and then after that, uh, we're actually going to walk beyond our campsite to go up another tour, which I think is even bigger. So, he, says, he says we. I may go up the second tour. No, no, I meant after I leave you on top of this next one. Oh, that's true, he's gonna murder me, isn't he, if it's, if it's not worth it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, do the, I'll do that other one on my own. Yeah. Although, to be honest, quite how he's gonna get home without me, I don't know. Because you don't drive, do you? <laughs> it's already a... Uh, can it be? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's only a hundred miles back to, uh, back to home. I've got a tent. That's true. <laughs> just live here. Right, anyway, uh, so we're just going to stop and have a drink of water before we carry on. So, get back again in a bit. So quiet. My kind of volume. <laughs> Even the wind's died down while we've been stood in these circles. Alright, so we're at the top of Sitford Tor now. I, 
don't think she's quite decided if he's going to murder me yet. Good. Looks very cool. I really like these weird stone structures. Well, I know they're not structures, they're actually just rocks, but look at the weather damage on them. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The view is pretty good, I think. So I think we're now going that way up here and along this ridge line before we then come back down to here-ish, roughly, just north of the forest to find our camp for the evening. So it's what, half two-ish, something like that? So we've been walking for probably about three hours. So we've got a couple of hours left to go before we get to camp. So we're good so far, having fun, and I'm glad I'm still alive. So yay me. Jumping over rivers, danger bacon. I say jumping, kind of a big step. Oh, I'm falling over. All right, so we've beached the, beached? We've reached the uh, Dartmoor training area. As it says here, military firing range, etc., etc., etc. Uh, when a red flag or light is lit on this pole, do not cross the line of red and white poles. There's no flag and there's no light, so I think we're safe. Which is wonderful, which means we can carry on. A shortcut to what? Mushroom. Very cool. Oh my word. How cool is this? I'm having a rest. Oh. Woo. All right, guys. So we're up here at Wharton Tor. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've no, no idea, really. This is the highest point of our little trek today. Probably the highest point of our entire walk, actually. Uh, and it is lovely up here. Oh. Oh. What do you think? Well, I'm glad we're here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still alive. He's not murdered me again. So, bonus. I think we're just going to chill out here for a minute, get a drink of water, and then we're going to head down to our camp. So I'll catch up with you guys again when we are there. Plus I can use the big camera. 
to film me sitting down <laughs> and doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Woo! Mate. Well, oh. ladies and gents, we have made it to camp. Finally. Oh my word. From the top of Wanton Tour to here. Jeez. That was that was tough. Oh, it was exhausting. It was really, really tough. Oh. But we're finally here. It's about five o'clock maybe. So we're probably here about half an hour to an hour later than I had hoped for. But we've probably got an hour left of sunlight, hour and a half. So, to be honest, all we're going to do now is set our tents up, eat food and go to sleep. Because <laughs> we are exhausted. So, I'm probably not going to film a huge amount tonight. Uh, just because, well, there won't be anything to watch because I'm so tired. Um, exactly. So, I'm just going to yeah set the camp up and then I'm going to turn the camera off. Um, but I'll get back with you tomorrow morning when we wake up when we set off on the next part of our tour. Tomorrow morning I'll show you around what the camp looks like properly because it's a really, really nice spot and we've got a lovely, lovely view. Um, so I'm really happy with it. It's nice and sheltered from the wind as well. Although the wind's died down just as we've got here, which is amazing. So yeah, it's time to set the camp up. Eat food, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I need a cup of tea so badly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, let's do it. Tent setting up. Oh, come on. Gonna have to have a mouthful of trail mix. So hungry. I think I might have a soup to warm me up before dinner. Starter, starter, and man. Look at you. I can give you some chocolate if you want dessert as well. You can have a three course. Oh, I've got some peanut M&Ms. There you go. I've got peanut m and <laughs> I'm so happy! Right, so I'm all squared away with camp. Irish is getting there. Pretty much done. He's got his stuff to go in the tent. Uh, I'll just show you inside mine very briefly. So, as you can see, I'm all set up. Plenty of room in here for me and all my gear. So I'm very happy with that. We are nicely sheltered uh, behind all the rocks and stuff here. So I'm not too worried about the wind. Uh, if it does get crazy, then, well, don't know what we'll do. <laughs> Panic, probably, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So, um, as I said before, the only thing that we're going to do now is cook up some dinner um, and relax and probably get to bed quite early. So, um, yeah, we are. <laughs> so I will say goodnight to you guys now. Uh, as I said in the morning, I will take the big camera around and I'll show you the, uh, the, pro the campsite properly. Hopefully the weather's going to be fairly nice again tomorrow. So we are looking forward to day two. We. Oui. That means yes for anybody that doesn't speak French. He doesn't need a wee, oui, he's saying yes. As far as I know, anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we will uh, see you tomorrow, guys. So, good night. Uh, just opened my first beer of this evening uh, and it tastes amazing. So, I'm going to cook up some food and I will catch you in the morning. That was a really rambling, really rambling way to end up this, uh, wrap up this day, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, it didn't really make much cohesive sense, but. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day, man. <laughs> Okay, the camera's on. Outside. <laughs> That's right, I didn't warn you. Didn't pre-warn you. Uh, morning. How you guys doing? I think we both slept pretty well, didn't we? Yeah, not too bad. Um, I think we went to bed around half nine. So we went to bed relatively early. Better sleep pretty much straight away. 
Uh, I woke up again at one o'clock in the morning. Needed pee, so I got up and peed. Uh, and then kind of fitfully slept. I kept waking up and falling asleep and having really weird dreams. Like one of them was, um, was I was a dragon that was older than Smaug from the Lord of the Rings and we had a fight. <laughs> Which was really weird. Did you win? Well, of course I won. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> Banished him to a dodgy demon dimension. I mean, Smaug's pretty weak. He got beaten by one arrow. Yeah, all right. Just saying. I'm not saying it was a difficult battle. <laughs> anyway. So yes, very, very weird dreams, um, but it's very, very cool. Uh, what I thought I'd do um, while we've got the water boiling to get some coffees on while we're packing up tents and stuff is I thought I'd show you around um, where we've camped. So this, what did I call it? I think it's shovel down, is that right? Shovel down stone settlement. There's a bit further over there, as you can see. So it's broken up into a few different of these little settlementy bits. Um, and there is another one over yonder in the distance, kind of over there-ish. Um, but I'll be honest, once uh, we saw this last night, we definitely couldn't be bothered to walk over to that one <laughs> to see how it was. So, uh, so we slept here. So I'll take you up and I'll wander around, give you a bit of a tour of our sleeping site. The only slight issue I had was that I was on a slight sort of slope, so I was sliding down into the, the tent flap every now and again, but it wasn't a big deal. As long as I slept on the right side, it was fine. Good morning, sheep. So yeah, very cool little area that we're in. Very foggy this morning. Well, not very foggy, but fairly foggy this morning, a bit misty. Uh, tent's absolutely soaked. So gonna add some water weight to our journey today, but obviously we've eaten all of our food, or most of our food anyway, apart from little snacks for today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a, a coffee, have a hot drink, and then we're gonna head on down the trail back towards the car. Uh, this after, well, today I think we're going through Fernworthy Forest. So that should be quite cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the big camera that I'm recording on uh, now, I'm going to put that away, and I'm going to go back to my little handheld one just because it's so much easier to carry it around. Um, so if the quality is not as good, I apologise. But there we go. So yeah, so all in all, very good night's sleep, and I'm looking forward to today. Looking forward to uh, we're seeing what the forest has to offer, looking forward to seeing any wildlife and things like that, and also looking forward to sleeping in my own bed. <laughs> so as I say, I'll catch up with you guys once we are underway. Uh, by the way, we're talking about the tent yeah. that's clapping about. Not, not anything weird. Because yesterday you lot, man. was entirely uphill, so it didn't have the right angle. Well, let's hope today is mostly downhill. They say, walking up a hill. Indeed. Well, we are on the road again. We're off, we're off. We're we have off. decided to slightly, slightly ignore the route that uh, the Kamut app said to go on, because it had us walking back the way we came yesterday for a bit, and I don't want to do that, because it's a big bog. So we're going to do <laughs> cut off a little bit of the corner of the, of the trail, uh, and hope we don't come across a bog, which we indefinitely will, but fingers crossed. But straight away, we've come up to this cool thing, which was the other stone structure that I mentioned when I took you around the camp. So just gonna have a quick look at it. Going up, going up, 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 oh, falling over. Oh, 
Well, the mist appears to be clearing slightly, so that's good. Very cool. Car. Person. Yeah. No, no, over there. I wonder if that's the person whose car it is. I would imagine so. Could be. Right. Uh, we're going to check the map and work out the next bit of the route. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> that's the Skyrim uh, theme tune for anyone that doesn't know. <laughs> Please don't copyright me. I'm not sure that three seconds counts. But... And I've probably got this. Well, it's recognisable to me. Yeah. Look at that view. Nice. Although, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Just don't film it. I mean, it's. I get the sense it's it, that side's going to be easier than this side. Yeah, yeah definitely. We're just debating because we've cut off some of the route that we were supposed to do. We're actually supposed to cross the river, this little rivery thing here, um, way further up. Uh, right by the reservoir, um, but I don't think we're going to particularly able to follow it on this path here on this side of the river So we're debating going over this log to the other side. So uh, Wish me luck Whoa. I'm gonna film me doing it Okay, yeah slippy Watch out for the moss. Yep. Tell you what might be easier actually. Go for it. Doing one foot at a time. That's the style of walk in it. Oh. <laughs> oh dude! We're in the middle. We're nearly there. There is a large stick that's going. Right to a tender part of me. Yes! I don't want to film. You can do it! Do. I'm not allowed to film him. I'm falling in. I don't want any evidence. You're not falling in, you're gonna be fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll stop, I'll stop. Get up to 20 yards and then have to cross back. <laughs> Let's hope not. Well, we both survived. We're both nice and dry. Well, relatively. <laughs> On we go. In a very roundabout way, cutting over small rivers again and hacking our way through ferns and forestry, Which we have entirely. found. Eh? Sorry, this is entirely our way of doing things. Yes, it has nothing to do with the Komoot app, it's just the way we like to do things. Yeah. We like to make things difficult by finding bogs and hacking our way through stuff that we don't have to hack our way through. But we have found a very, very cool site. I say we found it, it's on the map, you know what I mean. Here is Fernworthy Reservoir. Yeah. Oh, dude! Oh, man. Ah. <sighs> We are actually a lot closer to it than the camera suggests. I say, we go down, clearly you can go over there and stop. And I say we go over there and have our oranges from London brick. Oranges from London! I think that's a good idea. The view again though is awesome. Beautiful. Okay, you heard him, we're going to see if we can get down onto the actual bit of wall, the reservoir itself, and have an orange from London. Okay, technically, it's locked. But I really want to get over there. So, don't tell anyone. <laughs> but we're going to do it. Yeah, I'd be really upset if this whole thing collapsed just because of our weight. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Very poorly designed. I mean, what if it rains? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at 
perfect spot. Come here, Orange. Orange from London. Okay. Without a word of warning to his fellow athletes, he just suddenly veered off and leapt into a ditch. That is quite a view. Mm. Be a better one from there. Looking down that. Through over. Standing under. Yeah. Looking over the edge. Definitely. Love it. This is cool. Yeah, good spot. And it is raining a little bit. Most importantly, oranges from London. <laughs> I tell you what. Once once we get hold of a joke, we like to say it repeatedly yeah. until until the well until actually we part ways. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. It has started to rain now, so rain, excuse me, rain jacket has gone on. Yeah, mine's going to have to make an appearance. The next bit of this path uh, that we're on looks really nice and flat and lovely and skirts the reservoir, so I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, I am going to put the camera away just because it is raining and I don't have the waterproof cover for it. Um, and if I did, you wouldn't be able to hear anything. So hopefully the rain will ease up and I can get the camera out again. Or if not, I might get it out for a few seconds and then put it away. The camera, not anything else. It's pretty cool. The big facts about Fernworthy Reservoir. It's a shame the sign's fallen down, but never mind. So 38 million gallons. 177 million litres of water here. A depth of 64 feet. Blimey. Wow. 78 acres. The dam that we just looked at uh, was constructed, I don't know if you can see it, in 1936 to 42 and is 209 meters long. There you go. You learn something when you watch Cola Crash. Three days of school, though. Beauty. I'm hoping you can see, I don't know if you can, but there are some horses just in front of us there. Clean little baby foal. Very nice. The rain's eased off, which is very cool. Just a very quick shower. So, very happy about that. Look at this. Beauty. There's people coming. Yeah. Ugh, people. We found a road. The road. The road. We're out of the bogs. We're off the lumpy hills. God. We've now got some nice flat tarmac hills to go. Um, so we kind of kind of went the wrong way. Um, we went our way, not the wrong way. We went our way, and have found a road which we are now basically just going to follow all the way back to Postbridge. So uh, keep you along with us for a little bit because um, there's some really nice views now that the sun's comes out and it's stopped raining. Uh, if there's nothing particularly interesting, then I'll see you in Postbridge. Oh, that's a nice view. That's a pub there. Mmm. Interesting.
Woohoo! We're back in Post Bridge. Yeah. Now what we gotta do is find the car. That way. It is that way, that's true. There you go, there's the bridge at Post Bridge. Loads of people on it. And me just in the middle of the road, so I'm gonna get out of the road. Get in the shot. Whoa. You're in the shot? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who cares? All right, we are pretty much back at the car now, guys. So we are going to end this video here. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you, Andy, for coming with me. Lovely. And making this it's been good. video and journey more bearable. It's been good. Doing it by myself would have sucked. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let's wait for the car to go past. Selfish. Um, as always, guys, you know, if you're new here, please feel free to like share comment subscribe if you want to all that good stuff that'd be absolutely amazing every subscription means a huge amount to me so i'd really appreciate it thank you very much guys take it easy see you very soon bye, bye.